Pat, Declan, congratulations on, on the movie. Well done, it's, it's great fun. Um, can you tell us, it's, it's quite a collaborative project, isn't it? In the it sense is. that you were sitting down talking with the, the writer, I believe, and the, the producer on this about the genesis of the story. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, I mean, myself and Eugene O'Brien, the writer, had been working with Rob Walpole, the producer, on another project, and it, we just, for whatever reason, the script wasn't working out, and uh, we kind of put it to one side. When Rob contacted us, um, it was January um, of last year, and uh, he said he'd come across this letter um, or statement, I should say, from his grandfather that his grandfather had made to the military bureau, um, claiming that he'd hung the flag over the GPO in 1916. Mm -hmm. So, I think he just kind of threw it out there to see um, did we think we could run with it? Was there something in it? So Eugene immediately latched onto it and said, "Yeah, I think I can do something with this." So. Um, uh, and the first person that we talked about was to have Pat. Uh, so Rob uh, approached Pat and just told him the general gist of it, mm. so that if he was interested, then Eugene could go away and write with Pat in mind. There's a universality to him, isn't there? Because I, I don't yeah. think there's a family in Ireland doesn't know a relative or have someone who's over in London mm. and maybe wondering are they ever going to come home like yeah. five or six years in. Did that kind of speak to you both on the well, on, think, at the writing stage? Yeah, I mean, I think... Um, one of the people that first people he contacts when he comes home is his aunt Agnes, and his aunt Agnes, played by Sorka Cusack, is kind of she's the one that is worried about him mm. and was kind of a mother figure to him when uh, because as she says herself, um, his own father wasn't much of a father figure. Yeah. Um, but she's kind of yeah she's she represents she's an interesting character because she's both old Ireland and but she was also very progressive as, as Harry says she was the first lesbian in the parish That's right. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. and uh, she kind of pushes him to stand up for himself and you know that's kind of what the film is about as well is stand yeah. up and be counted um, find your voice again yeah. and uh, yeah, you know and he, he does because when we first meet him he's, he's basically trapped in a time warp of you know Cricklewood and Kilburn 25 years ago mm. and mm. that he never moved out of and you know, and there are lots of uh, lots of people still there who yeah. you know who never come back. Um, and you know, if if uh, I suppose the thing that takes him out of that is this mad caper that he goes on with with Mo and with all the other mm. lads. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of stunt work. I know Pat is a big fan of doing stunt work. He's <laughs> told me already. But um, there is a lot of action sequences, a lot of activity in this. I suppose, mm. what were the maybe the budgetary challenges and the practical challenges of getting all of that on screen? Um, well, yeah, I mean, when, when we first... We encouraged Eugene to write everything without any restraint and then <laughs> we realised well, we can't afford to do yeah. any of this. <laughs> Um, no, I mean we pulled out all the stops in, in that all the, all of our HODs, like uh, Mark, our designer, Alison, our costume designer, they just I don't know where they got all the resources. I mean, you know, the stuff with trucks and vans and um, quite, you know, yeah, yeah it was quite elaborate yeah, for yeah. the amount of money we had. Um, so the honest answer is I don't know how they managed to do it. <laughs> 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 they begged, they borrowed, and they stole mm. basically. Um, but I think they're worth, you know, it was worth it because ah, yeah, you know it's, it's great energy in mm. those. Like it's it's almost it's a film with two halves. The first half, or prior to Caper, when everything's quite normal, and then suddenly they you start running and you don't stop till yeah. you get to the GPO. Yeah. You know, so it's uh, that's good fun. From from your point of view, Pat, was it was it fun or was it challenging? Because there <laughs> challenging. is a lot of action. <laughs> There's a lot of action in the second well, half. Well, I think it was one of the toughest films I've ever worked on. I have to say, and I yeah. genuinely mean that because it was. It was a lot for a, a, a low-budget Irish film. Uh, you know, any time you do stunts in that, it is demanding financially and and physically as well. So it was, you know, it was strapped to the back of a truck with a fan flying out, and you're hanging onto the edge of it. And, yeah. uh, you know, that's that was quite scary actually. And uh, and yet, you know, you only one take to get it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, keep, no keep acting, keep acting as the, as the director is screaming in your ear. <laughs> but no, and that's wonderful. I mean, it was, it's great to get the opportunity to work on a film like that um, mm. and uh, the horse stuff. And we got, yeah, we got Pat over his fear of horses. I, think. Oh, God. <laughs> I really don't, I'm not comfortable with horses. Yeah. And uh, 
Yeah, I remember you shouting at me. Uh, yeah, don't need to worry about acting fear, Pat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look it's terrified. Sort of terrified in the back of it. And Mo was uh, wasn't much better in front of me. <laughs> but it was great, you know. You, that that you push yourself out with these things, and it's a great experience doing it. it was great yeah. fun. But it is. It was a challenge. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a tough film. It's all up on screen, though, isn't it? It's it all is. there. It's yeah. all there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about the casting? Because there's an awful lot of very young, talented, emer- well, not emerging, established talent yeah. in this film. I'm thinking people like Mo Dunford and, and Ruth and, and Brian. Um, how did you persuade them all to kind of get on board on, as an ensemble? Well, it wasn't hard, actually. I mean, finding our first priority was to find Mouse. Um, mm. And we literally we picked five people that we thought would might work well with Pat because it had to be about the chemistry between the two of them. And, you know, it was just when we saw Mo, we, and we screen tested a couple of scenes, and just Mo and Pat together just seemed to have that chemistry. Um, so once we had that sorted, um, we just sent the script out to the people that we wanted, and luckily most of them were available and were really into it. So we're, I think the script kind of sold a lot of people. Mm. Um, yeah. uh, cause, and, and, you know, we, we were... D- shocked and delighted that you know people like Ruth you know because you know they while they're always there didn't at times you just felt like geez I wish I had more for them to do mm. <laughs> it was like they're so good mm. um but no we were we were blessed with the cast mm. yeah I suppose finally um through a bit of magic and a bit of trickery uh, on the filmmakers part we want to get, get to revisit the amazing commemorations the 1916 commemorations back from spring can you tell me how you made that work um we got up very early. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got up. <laughs> went through a lot of security checks. Half yeah. two in the morning. And, uh, we, we, yeah, we were out there before the um, before the actual commemoration started. And, uh, yeah, so it was really just getting yeah. in there before that. And then we had we shot a, a lot of other s- stuff of Pat because we had a limited amount of time. I think they said we can go in for half an hour. I think we might have two hours. Two hours. Until <laughs> <two hours. laughs> uh, so they, they finally kicked us out. Kicked us out. <laughs> um, and then we shot a lot up in Clemenum as well, just mm. more close-ups of Pat. And, mm. Uh, mm. So, yeah, it was. It would have been great to have the run of the place, but it was never going to happen. D- on they our had budget. a ceremony to get on with as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, they were great to let us in. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Well, congratulations on it again. Thanks and for thanks for your thank time. You thanks. Thanks a million. All right.